Hi, Phil Burt here. I was the head physio for British Cycling for 12 years. Been to three Olympics. Apparently I know something about cycling <laughs> and cycling injuries. Um, quick short video to give you some top tips on indoor training or turbo training. In this period of lockdown, a lot of you might have to do a lot of that instead of your normal outdoor riding. Indoor training is different. Very quickly, the bike doesn't move underneath you. You don't get out the saddle as often because of the natural brakes that are posed upon that when you're out on the bike, getting up to traffic lights, going around corners, whatever. The environment is different and the loading is not so sustained as it were. So what does that mean for you? It means don't sit in the bike on the saddle repeatedly for an hour and a half, even if you're on Swift or really into the race what you're doing. Try and set yourself an alarm to get up out of the saddle every 10 minutes, even five, 10 seconds, just getting some air underneath your undercarriage and get, sharing the load out around your joints will help prevent getting the two major issues with indoor cycling, which are knee injuries and saddle sores. Now, saddle sores can be really helped by getting out of the saddle. They can really be helped by using modifying your environment. So if you can train outdoors, do train outdoors on a static trainer. If you have a fan, use the fan. Just blowing over you, not just for your body temperature, but the air moving over your groin area can really help stop the sweat building up. The one thing skin doesn't like is heat, um, water, and then added loading pressure. And those three things really, really come on with sustaining indoor training. So try and do that. My second tip is, once you get off the bike, get out of your damp shorts, okay? As soon as you possibly can, wash. Make sure you don't wash vigorously, just carefully. Get dry, wear loose clothing afterwards so your air skin can get air to it. And the final point, last point, redouble your efforts with anything that your physio has told you to do with regards to cycling. So for my top tips would be making sure that your quads are nice and stretched and loose. And the second thing is foam roller, foam roller, foam roller. That iliotibial band, whatever you specific program you have, do it more because the loading is much more sustained and focused in indoor cycling. That'll stop you getting a knee injury. Over and out.